Hi guys! Guess what happened? 100,000 subscribers! I am honored and still a little giddy. None of this could happen without you. Thank you for watching, for cooking, and for all the words of support. I also want to thank Jason, my amazing husband, for believing in me before I believed in myself. Jason, you know, he seems to have bottomless patience because, you know, this last nine years with no picnic, editing software can be hard to learn and light can be hard to control and stories can be hard to write and some comments can be hard to read. And through it all, Jason was always there for me through YouTube's highs and lows. Have you ever wondered what YouTube feels like from the creator's perspective? Well, I'll tell you. First, you work really hard on your video and then you go, phew, I'm finally done editing. You are done, but you're not done. Without an awesome thumbnail, your video will die a sad death. So you work on your thumbnail and you think you finally got it. Are you done? Of course not. You need a great title. It needs to be mysterious, but not too mysterious. Catchy, understandable, search engine optimized. You finally got the title and you release your video into the world and watch the analytics. Sometimes it's way worse than what you deserve and sometimes it's way better. And I know it's just an algorithm, but it's hard not to imagine this being just some guy who reviews your videos and decides whether they should live or die. So this got me thinking, what if YouTube was just a guy? Here's how I imagine this review went with my five most overrated videos. Removing worms from fish. Yikes. Oh, this is nasty. You mean there could be worms in my fish? Ooh, people will want to share this. This is really freaking me out. Way to go, Helen. Onion dice without a parallel cut. I like that. It's doing something familiar in an unfamiliar way. This has serious sharing potential, at least until they try it and realize that it only works with a really sharp knife. But no one waits to try this stuff before they share it. So let's push this video to everyone. Sexy food plating. Ooh, yeah. I love when you smear that sauce with the back of the spoon. That's totally worth half a million views. Sexy food plating, this time in HD. Wait a second, that's basically the same video. Well, I don't know if we should push that. But I have to say, that sauce looks so hot in HD. I think that deserves another half a million views. Microwave poached eggs. Microwave in the title? That's good, people love microwaves. I'm waiting for someone to make a video on beef wellington in a microwave. I would totally make that go viral. Okay, let's see the comments. Hmm. So this was working really great for some people and exploding for others. Oh, I see. You wanted to warn people not to do this, so you made the title, don't do this, the egg can explode. I love explode in the title. Who wouldn't want to watch the egg explode? I think I should promote this video even more now. <laughs> and here's how I imagine this review process went with my five most underrated videos. Okay, Helen, what have you got this week? How to poach eggs for a crowd. Sure, it's a great way to poach eggs, but where is the drama? The microwave poached egg is fun. It can explode, but this just work. Boring. Next, honing a knife. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. You told me before anyone who cooks should probably do this, but is it fun to watch? Would you share it? Eh, next. Claw grip, slice and dice like a pro. I like the word pro in the title. People like watching pros do stuff. Oh, but then you had to explain things and make it all boring and try to help people actually do it themselves. You know, that totally ruins it. Pork chops with Madeira mustard pan sauce. Okay, let's see the video. Okay, so you explain salting ahead, you explain reverse sear method, and you explain how to make a pan sauce. So basically, this video can turn anyone into a meat ninja. This doesn't just apply to pork, it applies to all tender cuts. But your title sucks. 
If you called it, like, I don't know, how to be a meat ninja, I might consider recommending it, but with the current title, I, I really can't offer you much. How to cook fish. Ah, oh, there she goes with her fish again. Earth to Helen, the only fish people want to cook is salmon. Let's see, how can we get through to her? Oh, I know, let's give her salmon videos 100,000 views and this one only 6,000. In fact, we'll hide it so well it will be practically impossible to find on Google. Next. <laughs> and this YouTube voice is something I have lived with for nine years. But this sometimes infuriating and sometimes incredible platform is what helped viewers like you find a creator like me. And for that, I am grateful. This video was inspired by College Humor's very old video series, What if Google was just a guy? And if you haven't seen their fabulous parody of The Chef's Table called Gods of Food, check it out. It's hilarious. Cheers!